So warming up the body, I tend to take different approaches depending on the activity at hand. For instance, if I'm going for a swim, I usually just get into the water and I just start to swim. Nice and slow first, the freestyle, the crawl, and then as I proceed and get a little bit stronger or faster, if my body feels like it needs a bit of a stretch, I might stop at one end and just start to stretch in the pool. When it comes to GMB fitness or working out at the gym, any kind of rings or handstand work or skills work, I usually have a specific pattern that basically tries to warm up the spine in all the possible directions it can move, forward, back, side to side, twisting, circling, rotating, left to right. Legs, I warm up the legs, the hip flexors, thighs, quads, toes. I warm up the wrists, getting into the wrists, getting them to all different positions to warm up the connective tissue in and around the wrist, especially if I'm working on handstand or doing some handstand practice or actually working with my hands on the floor in any kind of animal movement or locomotion. In the morning, if I'm feeling a bit stiff when I get out of bed, I'll do some sun salutations. Just good old yoga postures and that flow of the sun salutations again, which takes the spine in pretty much all the possible directions except for side bends. If you're going through a session, and you feel you need to stretch a little bit more or move a little bit more, you do it. You listen to your body. That's the beauty of auto-regulation and part of the GMB method. Listening, conscious movement, making sure that you're present with every movement, every exercise, every drill you do, and moving forward from there. Whatever activity or exercise you choose to do, make sure you're having fun with it. Make sure you do warm the body up. Listen to the body. Stay present and enjoy the process, enjoy the journey.